We're going to talk about the Morehouse portable calibration machine again. This time we're going to go over a tension setup for a standard shear web load cell. We've got the same 2,000 pound reference standard in here, the Ultra Precision Morehouse load cell. And we have the same Ultra Precision Morehouse shear web load cell as our unit under test. Setup for tension calibration is just as easy as compression except in the top up here where that ball seat was, we have a tension adapter that we're going to put in there that is, has the female thread for the load cell that you're going to be calibrating. And then of course the male thread that goes into the, the adapter up there. These are available in various sizes depending on, on the size of thread you need for your load cell. And then of course they'll all have the same thread for the machine on, on the top side. For the load cell, we've taken off the ball adapter that was on top of it and the alignment plug that was in the bottom. We're not going to need those for tension calibration. Those are way over there on the side. We're going to take out this ball seat that we threaded into the top of the machine. We'll just put that over there with the other compression adapters. And we have the tension adapter that will thread into the top. And just like the ball seat, it just threads right up into there. Easy, no frills, no big deal. And again, when you're threading anything into the machine, make sure you don't jam those threads together, especially in tension because the threads will lock together. And then you have to get pliers out and pry them apart. We need to remove the compression base block that the load cell was sitting on. We're not gonna need that for tension. So all we're left with is a reference standard here and the tension adapter in the top. In this case, these two load cells are the same. They will thread directly together. We sell tension adapters of various sizes on both ends to go between your standard load cell and the unit under test if they don't have matching threads. We have adapters that will go between them and thread them together. In this case, they're both Morehouse Ultra Precision Load Cells. They both have the same threads. It's easy. You just thread the unit under test directly on top of the reference standard. And again, don't jam them together like that. There we go. Make sure that you get a little bit of play between the two so they don't lock up. To do a tension calibration, of course, you do need to run the jack screw up a couple of inches because to do the tension calibration, you're going to be turning this counterclockwise to pull that jack screw down, obviously, so you can pull on the load cells. So you want to make sure you give yourself a little bit of room down here on the jack screw. <coughs> um, in this case, 2K capacity for the machine, it doesn't take much. You don't need a whole lot of, of room on that jack screw there. So we have our tension adapter here. You know that our test is connected to the standard reference standard, which of course is still threaded into the top of that jack screw. Again, <clears throat> we pull out on these pins and lower the stage beam down to where you need it to. Here you're gonna need a little bit of room because you need to thread this tension adapter all the way onto that unit under test. Well, I'll just leave the stage beam kind of free float there. It's not going to go anywhere. And you can thread that down on there. Don't jam it. I know I keep saying that. It's important. Once that's in there, then you can adjust this till it, oh, I got lucky. It lined up. <laughs> till the, the retention pins lock into place. You may need to move both of these up or down a little bit to give yourself a little bit of room to to get that stage beam to line up with one of those holes. I lucked out, it lined up. So, once you have everything mounted in there, hooked up to your indicators, in compression we went clockwise to push that up. For tension we're going to go counterclockwise and it's going to pull down and then as you pull down on this, that will all lock in place and you'll start applying tension to the two load cells. And just like in compression, of course, 
your your uh, measuring your unit under test against your reference standards and you do your adjustments if you need collect your data make your reports easy day calibration is done customers are happy and that's it simple thank you for watching this video on the PCM we hope you found it interesting and we're happy to answer any questions please feel free to contact us it's time to minimize your measurement risk we're the ones to choose more hosts.